morning, good afternoon, happy Wednesday. So I um, went ahead and posted the agenda for today. Uh, so for today, you're going to be finishing up your Sock Monster, work on your self-evaluation Google slide. I will go over that in just a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a picture of the front, the back, and profile views of your Sock Monster. You're going to download the template down at the bottom here. And then you're going to type in the evaluation on the very last slide. So this project is going to be due on Friday. So I'm going to give the other students today, tomorrow, and part of Friday to complete it. And then uh, I will post in your material list for the next project sometimes later today. So um, be on the lookout for a notification. So once again, I'm going to go over your requirement. First thing you need to do is download the template. The template looks something like this. So the title of the template is Name of Sock, well actually, uh, Sock Monster Critique Template. So the first slide, it's going to include the name of your Sock Monster, uh, the name, period, and today's date, or whatever date that you completed on. Then the second slide, you can add the front view of your Sock Monster. Uh, uh, third slide is the back view. and the fourth slide is the, are the profile views of your sock monster. The profile view is the front, I'm sorry, the, the left and the left, right side of your sock monster. And, and then the fifth slide, okay, are going to be your sock monster parts. Okay, I'll show you that in a little bit. And then the last slide, okay, so this is really important because this Google slide uh, boutique template is with 75 points. And it has to be done by the end of the day today if you're done. And if you're not, uh, like I said, uh, work on your sock monster first and complete it when you have time. So the first question you have to respond to is describe three challenges you have you had while constructing or designing your sock monster. How did you overcome these challenges? Second is what was the most least what was your most least favorite process of the project? And the last is how did you decide on the parts to include or omit, which is meaning to leave out, or who or what inspired you to make these decisions. Okay, so make sure you complete this. I'm going to show you three samples. So the one by Gabriel. Gabriel, uh, so this is her sock one skin. His, uh, anyhow. Okay, type in uh, the name, period, and today's date here. And, and then the second slide is going to include the front view. Back slide is going to include the back view. Okay. And then the profile view is both the left and the right. And then you're going to include all your parts. So the eyes, mouth, and legs, whatever you're going to do. But um, anyhow, in the Google Classroom, notice how I include the pictures for you. So you need the front, the back, the right, and the left side view of your soft monster. Okay, so now here's another one by Megan O'Malley. Uh, period, and I'm going to add today's date on there, that way you know when you completed it. Okay, the front, back, profile view, and she left out the other view, or the other side view. And then this one, you can include your parts, eyes, a bow tie, and a mouth, okay, and the self-evaluation. Okay, so very simple. Take your time. And uh, like I said, for those of you who still need more time, use today and tomorrow uh, to finish it up. Uh, we're going to be moving forward with the next project after on Friday. Uh, I will send out a material list for you to do a scavenger hunt to find those so you're ready for the next project. Okay? Like I said, uh, I'm going to probably introduce on Friday. Uh, but like I said, uh, keep you on know, the lookout for our notification of a list of all the materials for the next project, okay? I'm going to post that by the end of the day.